Okay, I think we are totally going live again. So I'll just give people a few minutes to tune in and then I'll be doing my video. So it turns out um, the quality of the lighting really depends on what time of day because I'm playing around with it and I just can't get it as beautiful as yesterday. But who cares? It's live. Um, and so whatever you get, you get. I'm going to be talking about how to turn your post engagement into post likes because I know that's what everybody wants to know. So I'm going to show you that, but I wait for a few people to tune in. If you've never seen my face before, so this has shown up in front of you and you've never seen my face before, my name is Brandi Peters. I am a content marketing strategist. What a content marketing strategist does is help people tell their story on the internet. So that's what I do and I love it. Obviously, I enjoy doing it. Um, these days, my focus is mostly working with small, mid-sized businesses who want to learn how to use the tools that exist online to promote themselves. So that's my deal. That's what I do um, and that's what I'm going to be talking about today a little bit. But I am going to be showing you this nifty trick because why not? Why not share something that's going to help everybody immediately? We talk about engagement all of the time, but when you get engagement, what are you going to do with it, right? So you go through all this work to create good content, to get that engagement, to get people to actually pay attention to you, um, and you get that engagement, and then you can't convert that into sales and you definitely have a hard time converting that into new likes and follows. That's where a lot of people are at. Um, now in a perfect world, in a perfect world, every time somebody saw a piece of content you created, they instantly call you up and go, hey, I want to hire you right now. That would be ideal, right? Or I want to buy your awesome thing right this very, very second. Unfortunately, that's not how it works. Typically with content marketing, it is long-term game for short-term gains. You gotta wrap your head around that and that's why it's not for everyone. It works really well for people who are releasing a service or they're building a business, they're building a following, um, they're releasing a product later on, who want to build some momentum behind their business, who have a good audience but wanna convert that into the online space. So say you have a business and you want to take your business and start getting that online and getting some momentum for it online. But you cannot build a business based on a little bit of engagement online one time. It is long term. So if this is something you're going to do, be prepared for the long term haul. That's just a reality check because some people put social media up on a pedestal. Um, your social media is a tool to promote and market your business. Your social media is something that will help you connect with people online for sure, but your social media is not going to be your business. Whatever you are selling should be good. Your service and product or product should be good. If you are just trying to build an audience, um, your content should be good. Um, all of these things are more important than the number of likes and follows you get. Having good stuff to begin with. So I have a few people watching right now, so I'm going to get right into it. And if more people join in, they're just going to have to rewind and watch this trick. I'm also going to have to take the phone off of the tripod here to show you this. So I'll be out for a while and I'll be showing you my computer screen. Um, there are ways to do a screen share. I could have done a screen share on this, but I wanted to talk a little bit first. And what I'm going to show you is just going to be a simple little thing that once you know how to do this, it's going to make a huge difference in the amount of likes you get on your Facebook page because this is rad guys. This is so good. So that's what's happening right now. Taking the phone off the tripod, off the tripod and taking you guys over here to hang out with me around. All right, so I'm gonna use a client of mine as an example. Um, the client is Lindsay Ellison. She is a really amazing relationship coach. That's what she does. She's also a podcaster. Um, her demographic is women who are going through a divorce, but we always post good content on there anyway. So if you want to go ahead and give her a follow, go ahead. But I'm going to use her as an example because we're running a campaign right now. So we have boosted this piece of content. So the content is this little image here, this image box. 
It says the best thing you can do for your children is be happy. Real sentiment there. Um, we told a little bit of Lindsay's own story in the post. Go check out the page if you want to read that. Um, we've also included a link to sign up for her course because if you're going to pay attention to this, we want to make sure that you know where you can go and purchase something from her if you want to. Um, her course is really awesome. Uh, it helps women get through their divorce. But we're boosting it. So right now we're running this boost for $50 targeted at women. And we're getting quite a bit of engagement. So right here we have, as you can see, 102 people have liked this post. That's awesome, but that doesn't mean she has 102 new followers. It doesn't mean she has 102 new sales. It literally only means 102 people scrolled past this and clicked the like button. 23 people, 23 people clicked the share button. So they're sharing this. That's why our organic reach on this is so high because we've had 23 shares, but we've also got a paid reach of about 2000. So that's what's happening there. So when you're boosting a post like this, you've created this post, you've written the copy, you've posted it, you've targeted, you've gone through all of those steps. How do we turn these people into likes? So you click right here and this window pops up. Okay. Now from this window, it's going to show you the people who have liked this. You can click on all. And as you can see right here, when you click on all, there's an opportunity to invite these people to like Lindsay's page. So this person liked it, this person liked it, so we can just invite them to like the page. Now, a lot of people don't do this step on their boosted posts. And I'm gonna turn off so you can see my face. Hey guys, there's seven people watching. Lots of people do not take this step on their boosted posts, which blows my mind, probably because they don't know that it exists, that they can even do this. But if you were going to spend $50 to stick this image in front of people's face and they're going to react to it, you want to bring those people back to you so you can... Where is my camera? I want to make sure I'm looking at the camera here. I'm all over the place. Um, so that you can actually sell to them later so that they can see more content without you having to boost to them. There's so many good reasons. So I'm just going to once more again what we're doing here. So, all of these people have liked this post, and now we are inviting them to like the page. Now, if they're not interested, and it was just an anomaly um, that they liked that post, and it doesn't really mean anything to them, they probably won't come back and like the page. But, you'd be surprised. I think there's like a 90% converting rate on this when people actually see the notifications you can build your page by doing this. So boosting a piece of quality content, getting engagement on it, sorry guys, um, getting some engagement on it, and then going back and inviting them to like your page. Are you guys still with me here? Is this useful information for everybody? So yeah, that's just one thing I wanted to show you guys today. I don't see a lot of people using this tool. If you already knew about it, then that's fantastic. I'm glad you already knew about it. Um, if you didn't know about it, um, I hope I've helped you today. I'm going to put this back up on the tripod here. I hope I've helped you with that. And yeah, that's what I wanted to show you guys today. That's a little nifty Facebook secret. Um, ooh, why is the light so bright? There we go. Okay, so there's six people watching right now. If you found that tip useful, show me some love, give me some hearts, go ahead and share this, share this tip with other people. This is a really awesome way to get the bang for your buck on your boosted post. But guess what guys, if you are getting good engagement on a post and you haven't boosted, you can still do this. You can still go and you can still invite people to like your page. And you're gonna notice your page likes are gonna go way up and then you have a responsibility to create good content for those people who have gone ahead and liked your page. That is your responsibility now because you've invited them to come there, they've accepted that invitation. Think of it as you invited them into your house and now you gotta entertain them. Try to think of it that way 
And if you invite people to your house, unless you are literally having like a sensi party or um, I don't know what other kind of parties people do, but uh, unless you're having a party, you're not selling to them, you are keeping them entertained, you're keeping them happy and providing value. And that's how they will fall in love with you and be lifelong customers and speak your praises. And this technique works really well. Like I said, you have to have that larger perspective of what you're doing, which is building an audience and getting your brand some visibility online. So I hope my little tip helped you guys out. I will do more tips like this. I will do more videos as often as I can, especially if you guys continue to give me feedback and share them for me. I've done, this is my third video. I've done videos three days in a row and I've had inquiries for coaching and consulting jobs because I did these videos. So I even had a meeting just today about a prospective new consulting client because I'm doing these videos. It works, it works. Create live video, create good content, teach what you know. Don't be afraid of giving too much away. I never worry about giving too much away because I know once my clients get one-in-one -in -one time with me, there's more value to be shared. Um, there's tons I could tell you about Facebook. This is just one thing. And as far as I'm concerned, I think this should be common knowledge. I think this technique is pretty good and it works and it makes sure that if you're spending money, you're not wasting your money. So I think everyone should know it. So go ahead, share it, uh, use it. Let me know what you thought of this video. Leave your comments or questions below. I don't really have anything else left to add at this point, unless you guys have questions for me. Otherwise, I'm gonna go get some work done on there. So, thanks for tuning in. My name is Brandy Peters. I do stuff like this all the time for other people if they need help, so spread the word. Otherwise, have a good Thursday. Bye! Bye guys! Bye, Bye Mary! Bye, Cor! See you guys later!